dirty. Hello! Welcome to another media channel with, you know, my faggot friend here. The Flying Hawaiian Marcus. And Yoshi Yosh. Our big boy Yosh. Today, we're going to be talking about our favorite directors and movies. So uh, let's get this started. I'm going to let you two talk about them first. You being not so good with people in movies that they're in. You get to go after him because he's more skilled in the art of being yeah, researchable, if that's a word. I don't know. I'm dumb. There you go. All right, so you want top five movies or what? Yeah, let's do top five movies and then, of course, like top director. First of all, first one easily is Fear and Loathing. Yes. No brainer. Second, Taken, the first one. And I would say, uh, what was that movie with... Uh, Hold on. You can go. I'll try my other one. All right. So let's see. You, top five favorite director if you have one. Top five favorite movies, then yeah. favorite director. Um, top five favorite movies, obviously, Fear and Loathing. That's, like he said, a no-brainer. I mean, I fucking watch it, like, every single night before I go to bed. It's like my Bible, except it's real. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Anyways, no, I'm not. But, um... Sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> okay, Hashtag, bye. No, sorry. Hashtag... No remorse. No <laughs> remorse. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah. So Fear and Loathing is obviously one of my f is my favorite. Um, after that, probably Clerks Two. After you showed me the wonderful world of uh, Kevin Smith. Yes. After that, probably um, the original Night of the Living Dead by directed by George A. Romero. Well, there we go. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> Number four, the one director. The one director that I know fucking <laughs> everything at ball. Well, I would say everything, but I know a good amount. Um, fourth favorite, probably um, Twenty Eight Days Later. Oh really? Yeah, dude, great fucking movie. I mean, um, and then probably um, I would say Ninja Turtles. Nice. Ninja Turtles. The Which original, one? the, the original, one? the very first one in the suits. Damn. I got that shit on fucking DVD, yo. Swag. It would be better if it was on tape. I had it on tape. I had it on tape, and then we moved like a bunch, and now some small Hispanic boy is watching it in his <laughs> parents' room. Yeah, with the way VCRs work, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> um, and favorite director, obviously, from what I, you guys already hear, is uh, George A. Romero. I mean, I'm a huge uh, horror film fanatic. Zombie file? Zombies, zombies are my, uh, my favorite fucking... Uh, yeah, it's a love hate. I love their movies, but fucking hate zombies. They scare the holy mix shit out of me. But um, yeah, George A. Romero, the father of the modern zombie, um, he kind of broke away from that whole fucking generic, um, you know, voodoo fucking chicken feet and fucking bullshit fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, the shaman. That they yeah, have. like it's. Right, took a, took a <laughs> So yeah, definitely George A. Romero. I mean, um, he had like almost no money to make the very first movie, <laughs> but uh, he had like I think fuck it was like some like minuscule amount of money that he fucking made the movie with. And then um, it was actually, believe it or not, the first movie where a black man smacked a white woman. Oh, that is true. That's a fact. That was a huge. It was in what sixties? I think so. Yeah. It's older than shit, <laughs> and by no accounts, it, it's it's. If you put yourself into the mind frame of like somebody back then, and you look at like the visual effects, it's scary. Obviously not. Terrifying. Yeah, I mean the the fucking idea of the dead coming back to life to fucking eat people, and it wasn't like those stupid like oh I'm a fucking I'm gonna eat your brains. It was like I'm gonna fucking eat everything and you're gonna die. Yeah. Like, so I'm um. Not just looking for, you know, brain matter. I will eat your fucking face, arms, toes, genitals. That's a penis. That's a penis. So yeah, I think, I think that pretty much covers me pretty well. So um, I don't know. That's pretty. I, I have reached the extent of my knowledge on these things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut the fuck up. And uh, to finish mine, third would be Prometheus, Ridley Scott. Ooh, Prometheus. And then Pulp Fiction. And yes. last would be, let's go with Aliens. Aliens. So you got two Ridley yes. Scotts going on yeah. there. That's nice. See, you and I are kind of the same, because if I had to choose my top five, it'd probably be Clerks, number one, mm -hmm. like the original Clerks. Black and white. 
Yep, black and white all the way. Fucking Kev Smith was a genius when he made that I'm shit. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Like, every time I watch that movie, I think of my life when I'm at work, and I'm just like, God damn it! I'm not supposed to be here today. Um, the second I'd have to say is probably Pulp Fiction, just because I, I fucking love Pulp Fiction. Yeah. You know. Yeah, great movie. Pulp Fiction's the shit. Tarantino's a fucking genius. Like, when it comes to him and Kevin Smith, like, in their independent days... They were fucking... They were the tits. Yep. Um, third one, of course, Fear and Loathing. I can't put that as number one, but I can have it in my top five because I do love that movie. Um, my fourth one, I'd have to say, is probably The Doors. Oh, yeah. That's the one... Oliver um, Stone. One of those kids, right? What? That's the one with the kids, right? With the demon? No. No, <laughs> no, no that's, that's the, the gates, huh? That's the yeah, one. that's the okay, gates. Okay, the yeah. one about the band. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mainly bad. Jim Morrison. Yeah, yeah, but, um, yeah, Oliver Stone did a pretty good job with that. Um, I know it's not entirely historically accurate because there was a lot of people after that movie came out that were just like, well, he fucked is, up. <laughs> yeah, and then um, my fifth one, I'd have to say Natural Born Killers. If you've ever seen that. <laughs> I think it's great. Okay, it was written by Tarantino, fucking stolen by Oliver Stone, the same guy uh, directed The Doors. But hey, he did an okay job with it. Tarantino didn't like it. You know, that sucks. He could have stuck with it. But, <laughs> but I enjoyed it just for like the sheer fact that it was funny. And I love Woody Harrelson. Yes. He's awesome. Whether he's a gay man or a serial killer. <laughs> And, um, yeah, my favorite director, I have to say, is uh, Kevin Smith, just because, you know, he's he's kind of like an everyday guy like I am. He started making movies just with his friends as something fun to do, and that's, of course, you know, one of my interests. I would want to do that. Um, we had pretty much the same upbringings, just, you know, kids living off movies, comic books, cartoons, starting our lives after high school in a minimum wage job, moving on up, doing something with ourselves. I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> I'm still sitting on my couch making videos with my buddies. You're at the Randall stage right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm at the Wait. fucking Randall stage. I'm an asshole and I know it. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully I make something of myself. Probably won't. Fucking cynic. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... You know, next up, it'd have to be Tarantino. Because, like I said, I, I really love independent films, and Tarantino just fucking mastered it. I actually watched Reservoir Dogs for the first time recently. I never saw it before. Watched it just like a day ago. Fucking astounding movie. Great crime movie. Love it. It's awesome. I recommend you yeah. finish it. Yeah, I never <laughs> finished a movie, but I do love it. It's good. From shit. what I've seen. Calling me a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. was that other movie, too, um, when he's into these karate movies and every time it's his birthday, he goes to the theater and then he meets that girl? I think it's like Love Actually or Actually Love. Uh, I think that was one of his. It's one of his? Yeah. Yeah, uh, It wasn't uh, True Romance, was it? Yeah, True Romance. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, so it'd be that one. Yeah, that's a good movie right there. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Good stuff. And the fact that they made these movies on an incredibly low budget is what is so amazing to me. I mean, the first Clerks was made exactly on, I believe it was $27,575. Entirely on maxed out credit cards. Completely thought it was going to end, like, everything for Kevin. He was just, he made the movie with the intention of just having it so he could say, hey, look, that's where I fucked up my entire life. <laughs> And that's why he put himself in What's his. <laughs> that's why he put himself in his Silent Bob, because he's just like, if I want to fucking ruin my life, god damn it, I want to be in the project that ruins my life. And then from there, you know, Jane Silent Bob is, I think, what kind of carried him on into making other stuff. But his his dialogue and his writing, I think, is just sheerly astounding. You know, it's one of my favorites by far. I think the the best low budget films I've seen was uh, Blair Witch Project. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paranormal Activity, just the first one. Yeah. Everything after that just... Everything after so that was just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> it was all just, you know, formula, repeat, just yeah, basically. garbage. Yeah. It's, especially with horror movies nowadays, it's like the same generic bullshit. You've got the jock, the stoner, the nerd, the black guy. The then priest. You have, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if it's like yeah. A, if it's a, one of those where you have a priest... The and pale kid. Like, yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> then you have, as far as the chicks, you have like the whore, the airhead, the virgin who looks like a total whore. 
Um, you've got the smart chick who makes really stupid decisions. It's like, it's just the same fucking... And the second one of them starts fucking, they die. Yeah, it's it's like, oh, it's, you know, there's been like fucking 12 murders in these fucking woods in the past, like, two years. Let's go out, you know, I'm I'm sure we'll be fine. You know, let's just go out into the fucking creepy woods where people die and go, fuck. And then when it's like, oh, I immediately regret this decision. How could this happen to us? What a fucking (laughs) surprise, like... It's just, it's the same generic fucking bullshit. It's such a disappointment. Like, back, I guess, I wouldn't say that they're running out of ideas. It's like they, people are becoming used to receiving less. Yeah. We've just been dulled down to this fucking sad, sad, fucking apathetic people who are just like, yeah, shovel more shit in my face. I'll pay for it. <laughs> well, on that topic of horror movies, why don't we, you know, talk about that? I mean, we already know yours is, you know, Whatever you said. Night of the Living Dead? Yeah, Night of the Living Dead, because you like zombies and hate zombies. Yeah. What about you when it comes to horror movies? Freddy Krueger, man. Freddy Krueger? Guaranteed every time I watch that movie. When I go to sleep, guaranteed nightmare. Really? I hate it, but I do love it. Yeah, see, me, I'm a little bit different from you guys. Mm. I mean, I like the like the old style like horror movies monsters. and like movie monsters and oh. stuff. But it's not my favorite. I like more modern stuff. Like, my favorite horror movie, if you can even call it that, would have to be, of course, Kevin Smith's fucking Red State. You know Red State. It's I, not a horror movie per se. It's more of a suspense. Yeah, it's a thriller. suspense horror. The horror aspect of it is that it could happen in any, like, area. Yeah. It's just like, you know, if I, I live behind a church. For all I know, they're fucking killing people and burying them. In their basement. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. You don't know. That's the scary part of it. But, you know. Yeah. What about, you know, anything? What about comedies? What kind of comedies, comedies? do you like? I we'll love lighten everything. this up. I like, like, even, like, uh, what they call, like, toilet toilet comedy. Toilet humor? Yeah. Just really so, like, like, yeah. Uh, like epic movie, stuff like that. I really love oh, that kind okay. of shit. Like, scary movie and scary stuff like movie, that? Scary movie, everything. Like, airplane. Yeah. Um, hot shot, stuff like that. Real Hot good. shots. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What kind of comedies? Comedies. I mean, I just I'm I'm a huge. I mean, I'm a huge comedy fan as well. Um, honestly, I mean, I, I do enjoy the well thought out comedies, but at the same time, like the ones where it's almost like it's a, there's a storyline too. Obviously, it's a movie in general. It's a fucking storyline. I know it yeah. sounds super generic right now, but um, I don't know really what I would like. I prefer. I grew up with stand up. My dad was like the Def Jam, Def Jam yeah, comedy shit. <laughs> My dad fucking owned all of them, dude. That and. Um, I don't know if you call it comedy, but I also grew up with, like, Jackass, uh, oh, Bum yeah. Fights. Bum Fights was my <laughs> Bum fun. Fights, yeah. Bum fucking fight. loved Bum Fights, Damn. dude. <laughs> I've seen that stuff a long time. Oh, that's fucking, terrible. Uh, Wee Man Goes Down. That was more of just, like, a Wee Man thing with ass and titties, which is why I loved it as a kid. <laughs> but, um, you know, just fucking, as far as comedy goes, it's more so, like, I guess you could say, like, not stunts, but it's, like, the practical fucking, you know, like, the idea of just going out with your friends being stupid and fucking making money off of it is just the fucking the greatest idea ever. I mean, like mm-hmm. if you can fucking do it, then by all means, it's, that's the life, dude. I mean, you're with your fucking your friends yeah. doing dumb shit, hurting each other, then making money and drinking. <laughs> what yeah. about um, snuff films? I don't know if you guys are into that stuff. Yeah, like I, w- I don't know if you would consider Human Centipede snuff film. No. Well, if if I had to, well, snuff films, <laughs> the actual definition of it would be like pornos where someone dies but yeah. we're not talking about that because that's just too creepy no you don't think so <laughs> i don't know i'm into that stuff man like uh you're into people dying in your yeah, pornos? like uh uh cannibal holocaust that's a that's a good movie right there yeah i don't know the only thing i can think of that would be like relatively close to that would be tusk <laughs> i still have because that's like canadian see. human centipede yeah. from about, kevin smith uh, saw 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 is pretty good, but I hate that they dragged it out to like yeah, 37 yeah. fucking installments. <laughs> yeah, for us. It's like every year on Halloween you can expect like Saw 13, fucking Saw 14. Oh, all these different Saw movies. What about the original Jaws? Uh, I was never really into this. Don't bring up yeah. Jaws. I mean, I, think I just was... started going back to the beach. I feel like <laughs> Jaws was probably like a. <laughs> I suppose you could say uh, a big step into the water. Pun totally <laughs> intended. Yeah. Fuck you, that was funny. But, um, I mean, <laughs> Jaws was, um, I, I, as a kid, I was fucking terrified. Um, 
So, I mean, I just, Jaws scared the shit out of me. The idea of a fucking, that, that's some shit that could happen. It's a fucking yeah, shark. Jaws thing. is probably the scariest thing <laughs> that everyone watches. Like, it doesn't matter what you see first. Jaws will always be the first thing that scares the shit out of you yeah. as a movie. It's because always going to be like the worst as a kid, like I, I didn't even like getting into fucking pools that were deeper than fucking four feet when I was a young man. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, fuck, like what if a shark got in here, like <laughs> just fucking spontaneously fell from the fucking sky and is like just living in their pool. You mean Sharknado? That movie's fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what about Piranha? Dumb. With Christopher Lloyd. Dumb. That's the best part of that movie. What about dumb. The, uh, oh, Scotty! 3D. Scotty! We gotta go back! Oh! <laughs> Imagine that shit. He, he fucking DeLorean flies through. He's like, oh, there's piranhas! <laughs> Scotty, we can't go back! <laughs> oh, shit. I think, for me, comedies, um, it's just, like, it, it's a wide range of things. Yeah. Like, I love stand-up comedy. Um, like, Cat Williams, Eddie Griffin, Louis C.K. Um, Dan Cook. Dan Cook's pretty, Old stuff, pretty yeah. damn funny. But now yeah. he's just too overboard with everything. Yeah, but um, also like comedy movies. I really like stoner comedy. Yeah. Like anything Seth Rogen's in is pretty goddamn funny to me. Yeah. Pineapple Express was great. Yeah. Um, Half Baked. That was fucking hilarious. I love watching that movie. <laughs> and um, Have you seen uh, Super High Me? With yes. Doug Benson? Yes. Yeah, that's a good film right there. That's funny. And um, also like just weird shit like Rush Hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like fucking. Do you understand that, the words that are coming out yeah. of my mouth? No, Same with Friday. Out of your mouth. <laughs> Friday, I can quote that shit all yeah, day. Yeah, Friday, Friday. Oh my god, best fucking like, yeah. best African comedy movie. Yeah. I don't even care. I'm gonna say it. best black comedy movie yeah. you can fucking watch. I don't care. Every I'm black. I'm in the kitchen. You in the kitchen. <laughs> Eating all the goddamn food. <laughs> oh man, it's like I got mind control on Debo, man. You tell me, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I shut the fuck up. And then he leaves, I start talking again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, you know, is there any, any closing remarks you can put on your favorite movies? Um, I don't know if you would consider this like movie, but check out a, a thing on Netflix and on YouTube called uh, Ancient Aliens Debunked. They go thoroughly like how the show lies to you and everything. I love Ancient Aliens, but this uh, this documentary really goes into um, debunking everything, like what's right and what's not right. So yeah, you guys should check that out. Sounds good. Also, um, the conspiracy, not also Netflix, really good movie, builds up the drama. Everything. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to check that out because I watched all the Zeitgeist movies. I don't yeah, know if yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah. those. Those yeah. are pretty good. What about you? Uh, as far as like what movies they should see. Yeah. Like any any stuff you got to say about your movies in particular, and um, someone should check out. I mean, if you're any, if you consider yourself a horror movie buff, you gotta watch the originals. Um, I'm not talking like fucking like. I, I tried watching Dracula, but it's a silent film. Yeah. Which was really fucking hard for me to sit through. Like the black and white movie monsters, you have to have a particular taste for it. Yeah. It's not for everybody. I mean. Uh, the Frankenstein films are really good. I enjoyed those, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, like the Return of Frankenstein's monster, shit like that. Yeah. That was actually, you know, it can be tough to sit through, but it's like if you're really into the genre, then like you'll you have a certain, I suppose you could say, uh, appreciation for it. Yeah. So. Is that it? I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's it. Fuck you. Harvey. Okay. Wait, right, fuck me. Can we talk um, good and bad remakes of movies? Do it. We have uh, a minute for each. Uh, I would say um, Van Helsing with um, the guy from Wolverine. Hugh He's Jackman? Good. Yeah. I thought that was a pretty good movie. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that, I thought it was well done. You're gay. Yeah. Maybe. Because <laughs> you do have the classic monsters, you know, the yeah. Wolfman, Frankenstein, Igor, all of them. Yeah. I thought that was pretty <laughs> good. Igor got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? Any good, um, bad... Something you absolutely hate that's a remake? Um, Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Yeah, that was fucking terrible. Yeah. I think that, yeah, yo, that, that's fucking... It's yeah. scary looking, but yeah, it was just it terrible. It was fucking horrible. The original scared the shit out of me. I, I couldn't sleep for like a fucking week. <laughs> yeah, but the remake was fucking trash. All right. Now I got one. It's not a remake. It's kind of... Well, it's, it's a remake of a story from a comic book. Batman and Robin. Schumacher. 
fucking horrible. Don't ever watch it. Is that the one with the nipples? Yes. That's all I got to say. We're done here. Catch you guys next time. Check out Yosha's channel. Like and subscribe.